The Pugbilau mangrove forest can be found 4 kilometers eastbound from Pugbilau town proper in Quezon province. This mangrove forest is said to be the second most diverse mangrove forest in the world, but people fail to see its importance and how it helps our shorelines, coastal communities, and our mangrove fauna. Mangroves are woody trees or shrubs that grow in coastal habitats and are found in depositional coastal environments. Mangroves are an important source of food, forming an essential part of the natural food web in coastal areas and also protect our shorelines from strong winds, waves and floods. They also serve as breeding grounds and nurseries for many economically important marine species including fish, crab and shrimp. The mangrove forest faces many threats. Among these threats are natural disasters. Disasters like flash floods are a result of deforestation. This was eroded because of the flash flood uh, caused by uh, denudation of the forest. No? Uh, the illegal loggers cut the uh, trees on the mountains, in the Sierra Madre mountain ranges, and uh, they were not able to hold the uh, the water. So there was a flash flood and this was the uh, result. Garbage is another threat to mangroves. Garbage and other waste elements get trapped in the unique root system of most mangrove species. So it is very hard to remove garbage from the forest. You know, uh, sometimes uh, our kababayans, our our, our community uh, just throw their uh, garbage in, in, the, in the river or in the sea. During uh, high tide, of course, uh, this garbage uh, go to uh, mangrove forest. And uh, after the water subsided, it's there because of the uh, root system mm. of our, our uh, mangrove trees. Some locals also attempted to turn portions of the mangrove forest into fish ponds to earn greater income. We handled uh, some, some problem also because uh, before most of the people or, or uh, there are some groups that uh, they want to, uh, to convert this mangrove park below into fish pond development. Mm. But uh, because of our airport, we did not convince to give them the opportunity to uh, convert the uh, area. Fish ponds are small artificially created bodies of water. These ponds are mainly used for harvesting fish and sometimes other shellfish. Although they are also a big source of food and income for coastal communities, the conversion of mangroves to fish ponds would be very destructive to the natural ecosystem and would take away the natural protection of our shorelines from strong winds, waves and floods and but also kill many different coastal animals. Kung gagawin pong fish pond ng isang tao ang mangrove, Siya, isa pong tao ang makikinabang samantalang kung kami po ay hindi siya sa ngayon, mas maraming pong komunidad ang makikinabang. We are conserving, we are protecting the mangrove of Pagbilao, including development airport. And uh, we started uh, our development in Pagbilao since 1975. And... Uh, from that, uh, we continue uh, protecting, developing the area, and uh, of course, uh, the the uh, the visiting uh, scientist here is uh, class, uh, classified our forest as uh, second most diverse in the world. Kumbaga katulog yun sir, gawa ng kami ay nagisda, dahil kami na wala isda. Kung wala magum, wala kami wala isda. So far, uh, the local government unit is trying to support our program. But of course, uh, because of this, uh, so many local communities uh, residing in nearby areas, and some of them, even uh, they know that uh, mangrove is very important to them, but in terms of income, of looking for something to eat 
they try to destroy but uh, we are uh, we we are trying to convince them not to destroy our mangrove ang may tutulong po ng malaking kumpanya ay bigyan kami ng pundo para po mapangalagaan namin ang mga bakawanan at makapagtanim kami ng karagdagang bakawan. Dapat may kulang. Pagpaganda pa tayo nito eh. At yung palabogin pa. Okay. Alam ko ba na siya? Hindi na pagdating ng araw yung ating mga, mga bata para ikita na lang maganda pa lang. Palakad ng araw. Hindi tutularin nila yun. Given the threats to the mangrove forest, the government and local communities are working together to protect this unique and special place. They need all the help they can get before the mangrove forest vanishes, and therefore endangering many species, land, and its uniqueness being the second most diverse mangrove forest in the world.